Okay guys, watch this tutorial in order to learn more about AWS Lambda response size limit. So first off, what you need to know is that when you use AWS Lambda, you will be running functions in order to work with your application. And every AWS Lambda has limitations. So as for the runtime environment limitations, you'll need to know the following. Your disk space is limited to 512 megabytes. Your, devo your default deployment package size is 50 megabytes. Your memory range is from 128 to 1536 megabytes. Your maximum execution timeout for a function is 15 minutes. Your requests limitations by Lambda, request and response body payload size are maximized to 6 megabytes only. An event request body can be up to 128 kilobytes. Now, how can you check them? As for your environment variables, as you can see, we've got the keys and values. Well, let us go ahead and go to the basic settings. Check our memory, which is 1024 megabytes, which is still below the 1536 megabytes. So this is great. The timeout is 6 seconds. Now guys, you can monitor the way your function is going by clicking on the monitoring tab over here and going over the CloudWatch metrics, which include invocations, duration, error count and success rate, the throttles, the asynchronous delivery failures, the iterator age, and the concurrent executions. You can also go over the CloudWatch logs insights to check what is billing and how your uh, Lambda invocations are going. So guys, the size of the response body that can be returned is actually in the AWS Lambda API gateway limitations. And AWS states that the full payload size for API gateway is 10 megabytes and the request body payload size is 6 megabytes in Lambda. If you'd like to go over those, you can go to configuration. Actually, I'm sorry, you click on the dashboard and you click on applications. You click on your running application in order to check your API gateway metrics. You go straight to resources and from there you can check this one, API gateway REST API. Click on it to open a new page where you can get, go over your limitations and the API gateway. Now as you can see we have been rescheduled to a place called resources for APIs. So you can go straight to Gateway Responses. Let's click on this. And this will show you the list of possible responses that you can get when entering a request and how it can be. For example, you can get an access denied in case it's not granted access, an API configuration error, authorizer configuration error. Let's go to the bad request body. You have not entered uh, a request body that can be eligible. You have entered bad request parameters. Let us go to expire integration failure. Okay, quota exceeded. So here you can you have entered uh, above the size limit that is needed or resource not found. So as we just went over the response size limitations. Guys, if you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like and to subscribe to our channel to keep learning more about AWS Lambda and its features because you need to know everything. Before